<sighs> Good morning, guys, and I am so glad that you are here with me today. And if you're new, uh, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button and the bell notification so that we can always stay connected. And welcome to this Chosen Ones Spiritual Conscious Community. And on Tuesdays, we tend to take one thought on Tuesdays and we put our mind there and we connect that with God and we have a, a, just a good experience on Tuesdays in this community because it is my intention to always give you something above that can be planted in the hollows of your mind so that you can reap a harvest according to the will of God. And how many of us are in situations today where we feel just overwhelmed, it's not enough hours in the day, and we tend to get discouraged or we lose our thoughts or we lose ourselves sometimes in various ways we do. And as you know, I'm just on this whole fitness kick. I, I really have not been intentional about you know, just working out like I used to prior to everything, just going on pause, you know, um, where I went to, uh, to work out all the time. It was just a release for me. And of course, because of that, it closed. And so I was just sitting over here, like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And God said to me, Shonda, I need for you to come to the end of yourself. Don't worry about what you're going to do when it comes to living your best physical life. I want you to know that the Lord revealed to me that he created us in his image to have an abundant life in love, in peace, in joy, financially, emotionally, psychologically. He created us to receive all the good things. And we get so caught up sometimes in our head, focusing on what needs to be done, what could possibly go wrong and what could happen. And God is saying today to you chosen one community that he wants you to get to a still moment where you can say, God, I wanna to come to the end of me, the end of how my life was. And I wanna experience this new thing that you always talk about in your word. And so I wanna give you Romans 12, one, which states that therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. Just giving God your body as a living and holy sacrifice, which means that everything that I do has to align with the word and with the will of God for my life. It has to align with the higher spiritual, just energy of heaven. Everything that I do from the thoughts that I have, the actions that I take, the words that I speak, the foods that I eat, the things that I consume, whether it's physical or mental, it has to align with what I am to God. And that's a holy and living sacrifice for my body does not belong to me, but to the one that created me. So as we lift our hands today, we raise our voices and just extend our mind to receive the presence of God just for 60 seconds, God. We wanna go all in today in your presence and in your authority, God. We wanna say that we are at a point in our lives that we are at the end of me. I'm at the end of me as your daughter. This community, we're at the end of what we wanted to do on our own. And the only thing that we're really concerned about is you opening up our heart, our mind, our spirit, our soul to receive what you have for us, presenting every inch of ourselves as a living and a holy sacrifice, a form of worship and service to you, Father. For we are nothing without you. We cannot do anything without you in everything that we do. So as we open up our heart to receive your love and your glory, we open up our mind to receive your thoughts, Lord. Let the mind in us also be that mind that you created in Christ Jesus. And as we go about our day today, we are encouraged and we're so excited because we can finally lay down 
everything that we have been trying to do on our own because God, I am finally at the end of me. <sighs> that just felt so good. I love you guys. And until the next video, mwah, peace, because I believe in you. Bye now.